back before, baby girl, I don't wanna repeat She just won't please me, she look in my eyes, told me why are you bleeding And I don't even know how to answer I take these drugs to my bladder She says she noticed a pattern, she say I look gorgeous I tell her I'm flattered, but I hate my reflection When I look at you, all I see is perfection I'm so depressed and I don't know Yes, the cat jams complete. Some knives are out. Welcome to Ancient. This is definitely a map where Saw are feeling pretty good. We're going to be seeing our knife round starting off over here. Saw starting to get in some good stabs, but the Dodo took a while to try and find themselves a target. We've got one target down low. I'm casting a knife round right now, and it's gone very well. Saw will be able to pick the side on their own map, and things could not be looking rosier for the Iberian team. And of course, they will decide... To start off here on the CT, as usual. We expect Ancient to be a pretty CT-sided map, but Sinners, will they have any sort of je ne sais quoi? Will they have any spice? Any seasoning to bring to bear as we finish up our warm-up round right here? And the question is, for a lot of people, Sinners, in a post-Oscar world, will foresee be able to fill those shoes recently that might be the case they've performed okay uh, and more time with the roster means more time to acclimatize and maybe a little bit more consistency in performance gonna begin to head on into our pistol and oh would you look at that the fancy schmancy graphics didn't have those in the close qualifier thanks to our mates over at ucc for putting those together Wonderful production team here with us today. It's got our eyes on shock right now. Staring into mid as everyone else decides to make their way over towards A. There's a little bit of a stack from Saw on B. And only one player is going to be anchoring A, as you'd expect. That's going to be Roman. We've got ourselves a pair of dual Verettas on the field in the hands of Just, but mostly likely going to be seeing those in the retake scenario. Barring any massive place from Roman and already the bombs on the floor and that has not gone well Roman Starting as we mean to go on maybe the Portuguese player is going absolutely huge right here They've called for backup. They've already killed three. Don't bother coming lads. I've already fragged them all Shock is the only player left and I don't think he can quite, he can quite believe what's just happened You all got destroyed by one a anchor? Dios mio Is it all brothers on the other side? <laughs> One dig. Precision and accuracy, boys and girls, on display here from Justin. Saw are going to open up well on their pistol round. My goodness, Roman. You dirty boy. <laughs> Not sure if I'd call this one a highlight, but it certainly happened. Heading over now into the anti-eco. Not a huge amount invested here, of course, by the side of Sinners. They want to have themselves a much better third round. A trio of SMGs and a pair of M4s here. It's the Dodo and Roman. We're going to be looking for their high accuracy across these longer sightlines to try and do a huge amount. Roman, once again, is going to be on the crossfire here. But Mootsy, will they even require this? Doesn't seem that's going to be the case. That's about as fast as they come. And a large amount of those frags were gained by the SMGs. So that's a lot of bonus cash to walk away with. And of course, it's going to be a full bonus round here for Saw. A, quin a quintet? Yes, a quintet of AKs. Demands of Sinners now. Very important round for them to win. They've got themselves an advantage. When it comes to this. But Shock, <laughs> Shock does not feel very advantaged at the moment. Uterus destroys them through the smoke with an MP9 of all things. And that definitely does not feel great. Neofrag considers looking into candles. But for now, we'll just hold their tongue until this smoke will clear. And admittedly, the sample size has been small, but... 
Sinner's success in mid has been wanting thus far. One player identified. 4C. They stared towards the damaged player. And that gave plenty of time for Stododo to try and make anything work that they wished. Just as Blind backs off into safer cover. And Sinners find themselves in a 4 versus 3. This is definitely not the start they wanted. Considering that this is a large investment. AKs across the board. 50 seconds on the clock. I appreciate that, Ryan. So, Once again, looking over towards this site. That is not the spray that just wanted. They left a player with only 4 HP. That's B-Stick. They're hanging on by a thread right now. Zedko looking towards a potential retake. It's a good bit of accuracy. Two versus two. But the bombers only just started ticking. So time is on the side of Saw, but the armaments certainly are not. Moving with the USP, they're still on M4 to play with, but Roman, despite the previous accuracy, did come as nothing. So Dodo, they tap on the bomb. Oh, the MP9 is doing so much here. They continue to tap, knowing that one must be in this area, Zedco. Three kills for them. That went just fine, but Sinners were likely hoping for more than one AK to escape the carnage. I remember, guys. Our betting partners and namers of this tournament, Thunderpick. You can use code Bitcoin when signing up over there as a new user to get yourself 50 free euros when you deposit and bet 50 euros yourself. Remember, gamble responsibly. When the fun stops, you stop betting. An 18 plus only. Uterus. Wants to control mid once more. It has been a great area for Saw thus far. An orp on the battlefield in the hands of Stododo. We'll stare across A. It's got some good coverage as well from Roman. The first will be seen. The first will be taken down. Stododo. Hello there. Warmed up in the morning, are we? Roman finds himself a slow player. And even more, Roman is on fire today. Absolute travesties being committed here by the Roman Legion, but Neo Frag says that your time is over, old man. The future is now. The Frags are Neo. But this ain't the Matrix. Can't dodge these bullets. Arky stands within the back of sight here, but Neo Frag won't even get a chance to make contact, because the Dodo took them out, and now they might not even know about the close play of Arky, and certainly they do not. Surrounded on all sides, and once they get some weapons in hand, Sora looking hot to trot again. As UCC League has told you in the chat, free bet code is incoming. And if you want to continue to generate those free bet codes, you need to look to the left-hand side of your screen. You'll see an interactable button. You can click on that to begin charging it up. And once it's fully charged, a code will be deposited in the chat by UCC League to allow you to get a free bet. Over on Thunderpeg. You will have to deposit it as you would deposit a gift code, uh, a gift card code. So if you go to deposit, try and enter a gift card, you'll be able to put it in there. And voila, a free bed for you, madame. Polico once again here, from the side of Sinners. And saw so all they need to do is wait. Oh, there's a cheeky boost right here. Drops down, makes some sound. No information was gained. But do they know the sack that's here from Saw? Non-committal at the moment over on ramp. But it might be a bunch of players can move in through candles here. Would this be... Could you push four players through candles? You wouldn't push four players through candles against an orb. I mean, I'd be able to overwhelm it. You're begging for a collapse, but you might also just be able to overwhelm them in one. Where's the first orb shot? That's a beautiful flash right there, but just as good with the cover. Arky falls on down. The bomb might well be planted here, but the Dodo keeps themselves alive by continuing to frag, and Romans on the scene. And when the Romans are on the scene, you know that plenty of nations will cry. Four versus one. The bomb has been planted, so this is overall a success for Sinners. And they've taken out one player. Zedko will fall on down, just will defuse. And that's another round right here for the Iberian team.
Heading in to round number six now. A couple more options for sinners and a loss bonus that's gently beginning to build up. So a bunch of AKs are available still. It's not like we're able to build up much of an economy. On the other side, we have players like Just sitting on 4K. It's not necessarily a trust fund, but it's a little bit of a rainy day fund. It might be necessary. Oh, that took a little while to bounce right there. Stododo has been isolated with the AWP in hand. We'll be able to get out, though. A touch of blocking in the smoke, but that's fine. That's good. That's all right. Just is trying to claim a little bit of space here in candles. Refresh of a smoke pushed in from elsewhere. That's coming in from Arky. Nice little lineup. Make sure that Just is always ready with that M4 in hand if... There is a decision to try and push on through the smoke while it's being reset. So I like the divvying up of responsibilities here from Saw. Still five versus five, but with one minute on the clock, Sinners need to decide what to do with these AKs and, of course, the token AWP as well. A little bit more difficult to get the value from the AWP on the T side. And Stododo has proven themselves no slouch thus far. Oh, Roman could crunch in here, and this could be absolutely deadly. Roman is definitely the one to watch thus far. Down go a pair of smokes here. This is looking like a pretty solid execute, but Muteris has already got in the way. One versus two, and they take out two themselves. And guess who's on the flank but Roman? Will they be expected in this three versus two? Plenty of attention's been demanded thus far. Still, the bomb will be planted, but Roman might turn unchecked. There is no trigger discipline because it's not even needed... Four C's alone, once again, with the AWP. And considering the finances, zero dollars in the bank, four C might want to uh, try and avoid being forced out here themselves. And that is indeed going to be a quick flight for the wayward check sinners. They don't get anything off their buy round here. They only even take out two weapons from Saw. At least they get the bomb plant. So it's not as dangerous economically as before. And their loss bonus continues to pile up. DWP is kept. There are plenty of silver linings to this cloud, but it's still dark and ominous. Oh, thank God. Kramer had a blackout. But that's fine. The last time I had to solo cast this, Kramer had... Uh... <laughs> Kramer had come to some harm. But I'm glad that Kramer's okay. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be with us soon. Until then... Just you and me, chat. We can enjoy some good CS together, can't we? It's a bit of a party early on a Monday morning. I mean, it's like work radio, you know? Put it on when you get into the office. Enjoy the sultry tones of some leg day CS. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a stack on B site here from Sinners. It seems to like this as their default. They're like three players over here on B, one floating around mid, and of course, Roman. The Deadly Legionnaire of A. Fjorp is going to creep its way down here through candles. If you guys hear any uh, any Kremer noises, don't be alarmed. Where's it supposed to happen? <laughs> oh, that's a good smoke place down right there. That's going to make exiting from this area a little bit harder. Check out this angle right here from Arky. Do they have a gap in the smoke? is the question. Do they have something to try and exploit? The bomb is passed around between the members, but just the anchorage here in B-Site. They need to try and refresh this smoke, but I don't think anyone has one available at the moment. And so just is going to be the key player. They get three. That's beautiful from just amazing stuff. And that might well make this yet another hole for sinners for C. Does not want it to be so. Do they expect a player to come through from candles? They've got a good sight line here. Staring down towards one player that could come from CT. They don't have the angle right now, though. That's yet another 4C. It's simply looking in the wrong direction. And Roman, as we would expect, is able to pick up the last here. Saw 6-1. to one. We all predicted sinners in a post-Oscar world. But I'm afraid there are no Academy Awards being given out for sinners right now.
think we have Kramer ready to go soon. Welcome to round number eight. Yet another buy here from Sinners, but... Have we been able to convert on that many thus far? Only up against a force, and even then they only survive for one weapon to their name. Still damage continually being done to Saw, so even six and one may have been able to build up a huge amount near frag there with the help of 4C. Able to take down the Dodo. They might not have expected the double stack towards the back of sight there, but still near frag is quick when it comes to identifying and eliminating the threats. Three versus five, and this is the kind of advantage that Sinners have only been able to dream of for the last seven rounds. This might be their time. It is going to be a little bit of a uh Delay part that still comes on through. B stick. Not instant with the headshot. But it will do. And Sinner should be able to pick up a second here with relative ease. Here's the thing, Harry. As a smoke emerges, a shadowy figure appears on the horizon. <laughs> <Your co -caster>. Nanny? <laughs> Crimson! You are supposed I... to be dead! <laughs> The frequency of the blackouts that appear in my household are actually insane. And it's our, our, like, the electrics on our side are okay. The electrics at the end of the road are okay. Somewhere between us and the end of the road absolutely isn't. Um, luckily, here we are. We do apologize, so, so, everyone. <laughs> Someone over there's got, like, a crypto farm going. They're, they're, trying, to, <laughs> they're trying to build up some crypto to do some betting on Thunderpick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm willing to. I'm willing to bet there is someone somewhere who is like kicking a plug somewhere, and just everything goes. <laughs> like, uh, it, it really, it's it's just, just, just having a so proper, proper car, a proper pub car park punch up with a transformer box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But <laughs> we're here now. Hopefully, we should be okay. Usually it's only about once a day, so it should be all right. Saw, so, now, here's the thing. I'm sure you've said this yourself, Harry. Saw, so, on paper, shouldn't be better than Sinners. Sinners, however, have just lost Oscar. And while um, well, 4Z is an okay player, he's definitely not a bad player, Oscar has left some very big boots to fill. And looking for the start of Ancients, I worry he's struggling to fill them. Maybe. Admittedly, this was the best possible start that Saw could have had. This is the map where they have mm. the largest statistical advantage, Kramer. And it's one that Saw were desperately hoping to get into this map draft. Oh, that's a lot of little run boost right there. But Sadodo still going to have to run this. Oh, that's nasty. Whoa. They didn't expect the surprise or but where can you go right now? The Molotov will eventually fizzle out at just the right time for Sadodo to escape with half of her HP taken away. 4C on the other side, though. Good for the refrag. And now B is going to have to be emergency reactivated. And Just is the one who activates right here. Moving their way out of candles. Can we get anything more done? They take out the AWP. But B sticks still being a beast themselves on the site. However, they're going to take the bomb and go walkabouts. Hello, uh, Dodge. I mean, it's a fair play. So every, three, every member here is on that B site. For Beastly Kids Shock, they have utility. They definitely have a bit of momentum here, but they take the long way around. They take the scenic route. So Stododo, he knows what's happening here. And while he does have to be a bit methodical about clearing mid, that AWP can be a true problem to try and fight, particularly when you have to try and cross quite wide angles to get this bomb down. Luckily, that plethora of utility they had gets dropped. Shock's able to try and push into Sudodo, and now the retake comes on. What was that, Kramer? Bugger me. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> hell. The space-time continuum has fallen apart. Sudodo simply operates on a different megahertz to the rest of us. He's overclocked. That was a what? nasty It just screeched to a halt. I am speed, baby. The Lightning McQueen of Orphans. Uh, <laughs> That was actually revolting, uh, as far as shots go. <laughs> Jesus, and bear in mind, world? if this, while this is the map which uh, Saw have the highest advantage, at least statistically, if they win it in a one-sided fashion, I fear Inferno is just going to be, while a closer match, still kind of listing to their advantage. Because Sinners, while they do play Ancient quite a bit, 
they still need to make it a little bit closer. They can't allow Saw to get such a dominant and one-sided start because they do still need momentum of their own. Neofrag's made some good purchase here onto a site. Basically abandoned, but do they know about the player from Donut Roman? Ducks out as fast as possible. We've allowed for Muteris to get the opening frag. However, Muteris pushes their luck, and Zedko says, absolutely not, mate. A separate attempt, maybe. At the plant here, and it does indeed go down. Zedko was stopped. Oh, wait, was that? Did the bomb get planted? They, they might have just about managed what? to stop it here. A second attempt from Shock. There it is. It's going to get done. Arky starts to close for distance. A messy spray, but it gets its man. A three versus one now. Only force with the AWP. This seems unlikely to go well. The HE will be avoided. The flick will be good. The Dodo goes on down now, but just is going to reinforce where their partner fell. And so Saw will get themselves yet another round. Eight to two, Harry. Uh, it's... Getting closer and closer. It's getting, getting closer and closer for that point of no return for Saw. Now, I've eight to two. Bear in mind, we have seen some very one-sided halves in the past. We have seen that um, kind of eleven fours, kind of twelve threes have been recovered, but so not easily, you know. And I think every time we have seen a scoreline like that. The team that has been on the receiving end of it has gone on to lose the series. So I'm really hoping that Sinners find something to click and soon. Because everything they've tried, the rounds they've won particularly, they've been won off the back of kind of single plays. Oh my goodness. Mutarus oh, had dear. wiggled their way in there while blinded. And Zedko, uh, despite the advantage, was unable to ascertain the target quickly enough. And so... As Sight came back, so too did the wherewithal of Muteris. He's now just going to be able to camp up here in top mid. This is a quite heavy bit of investment with two players anchoring at the top of mid right now. Maybe they expect that Shock is still going to be here, but B-Stick's going to try and open up some space elsewhere. Oh, just is really Oh, this so be a well. cheeky boost. Just. The game sense to know that was coming as well. He just gets out <laughs> of there. I'm out, boys. Yeah, <laughs> sod that. <laughs> just backs up. He also hears the attack as well. He's got the orb on the bait and switch. For sinners, this is just falling apart, Harry. Oh, every time they have a check, they find something. And often, when they check, they find a check. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. Hey. But <laughs> 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 oh, Harry. We're not getting hard again, are we? <laughs> There's got to be some clemency for it being 9 a.m. on a Monday, right? Oh, that's true. That's true. So that... Oh, oh Beastick just Beast runs doesn't care. Oh, my he God. He moves. Let me show you so much the Dodo taught me. Near Frag joins the chorus. And Sinners, they pulled that one out of nowhere. They pulled that well, one out of They pulled it out of Beastick. Yeah. yeah, that was insane. Just a little single play. And here's just what I was saying earlier. The Rouse Sinners of One have been off the back of a player doing something good. How repeatable is that? How often can we see a player do something good? It's, one I can't HP help but warrior, fear, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help but fear that it's only stray rounds here or there where they're able to do it. And at which point, so they'll happily trade. They'll happily trade. They'll lose their third. They'll give Sinners their third. So what? If it means they can reset them and then move on to make an even more dominant half. Of course they'll do that. We've got some lovely new graphics, Kramer, that you haven't been able to see yet. But the boys over at UCC. I was worried I missed another one. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's still around 8 and 24, but we've got some lovely graphics. Thanks to the friends over at UCC for putting those together for the Thunderpick Bitcoin series. They look absolutely marvellous, boys. UCC are wonderful people. Uh, they're, they're great. Glad they made it all possible. And, well, as we see a lot of utility thrown there. Arky, he's going to have to tank a nade. Sinners once again going for this mid control, and for the first time in quite a while, Mutris isn't playing Donut. Granted, it is the eco of Saw, so they are going to play some wider angles. It means Roman has to uh -oh. be the one to kind of shimmy about. 
Oh, that's the first opening door that I believe Roman has lost. They have been playing very well thus far. Mm. Smoke placed on down. Safe go. Good map awareness. They can just take themselves into the corner. Now the EWP is going to be able to get their chance here. Zedko will run the entry alongside the bomb, but the bomb has hit the four already. It's Shock who goes on down, but Neofrag's got an AK and a Dream. And the Dream right now feels to be a little bit of a nightmare for Sinners. D6 says, no, 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 no. You don't get to do another one without me, boys. And so Saul will be left with just uh, a sad little pistol. And this pistol's about to be about 20% sadder. Well, what would be what would be the equivalent of 20% sad? Uh... 20% sadder is when you, uh, you've bought some copium ice cream, but you have no spoon, yep. so you have to eat it with a fork. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Poor guy. It's like, you've got so the base is. level of sadness, and then you add the yeah. 20%. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rough. So you'll have 80% sadness, and is, is, is that better <laughs> then? Or does it go to 120 sadness? There's just countless cast on that. Too early, it's too early, man. <laughs> Sinners, <laughs> they're left with. Yes, they have a better buy, but right now they're playing catch up. And Sort, knowing this, are they going to start playing very, very slow? They're just going to try and get these openings and just get the hell out of there. Force Sinners to be the one to make the mistakes. And the Sinners send their attention back to B. This is a position that they haven't had much success on in the past. But for Z, he may look to change this now with the Sort. The garage buy, as you'd call it, Kramer. Forcey so cannot put any of these into the Ooh. garage for now. Does <laughs> Forcey just catch a USB headshot across B? Uh, that and a nade. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Boosted Forcey right here. Tallest guy in the lobby. Oh, we are at that close range though. Arky gets a big advantage from the SMG. That must have been a really fumbled spray. Look, he's only got he's only had 27 HP taken away. That must have been a brutally terrible spray from Zedko. Shock's revealed himself as well as he goes now through mid. And this is where, for Saw, things get a little bit questionable. They've lost their mid control, which means that Stododo single-handedly has to hold this ace site. His teammates can't join him in the defense here because this positioning of Shock. It's make or break for Stododo. But if he makes it here, Saw are going to set themselves up for a huge, huge round. Roman's moving fast. Not with a knife, though. They expect a presence, and they will suffer. Oh, just a little bit. But the SMG at range is good. So Dodo's close for distance. Might be able to grab themselves an AK oh. later. And that's finished off there by Arky. Upgrades all round, boys. Who wants an AK? That literally couldn't have gone better for the for the members of the store there. So Dodo, Man. that little burst he threw to the Orber actually dinked him twice there. That ruins the Sinner's attack. And uh, there you go. 9-4. Even if we end up seeing 11-4, which is, let's be honest, pretty dire, if you're one of the Sinners players, the game isn't lost. Yeah, 11-4 can still be recovered, but for Saw, Portuguese teams and uh, kind of the Iberian region have proven to be very passionate, very momentum-based players. So, one-sided map, a you know, one-sided series. Oh, spray of the gods, baby. Stadoda with a great assist right there. Any more for Arky? They're pretty low on frags to begin this, but they ain't any more, Kramer. Four in the round. And you know what? We talked about how emotional they can be. What I want to see is the truly brazen Big Daddy play for the ace. Get that feel-good factor, baby. Actually, no. Harry, they're probably it's... up against the AWP, or maybe not. <laughs> Well, I mean, look at the money of Sinners. It would be well worth their time to try and hunt it. They just don't know Forzy has one. Mm. Uh, yeah, we even heard a shot from the AWP. Did, that may have gone a little bit too fast, because I think Forzy was playing a little bit further back with the supportive flashes or something, right? No, he was. So... Uh, that's kind of a nice role for him to take, bear in mind, as a newer player. In Because he is sitting back and throwing flashes, it means that he doesn't kind of tread on the feet of the existing team because they are going to be more well-versed at playing with one another. So I quite like that bit of decision-making there. But now, though, it's not going to help. That's a beautiful he just gets that kill. little bit. Can we get run double up now? Did we pick it up? I'm not entirely sure. God, Arky. Yeah, I don't think it matters, to be honest. I mean, Arky, it's just a one-man army. And one of the things that this really does 
make concerning is that it's showing equal levels of heroics from sword players as well as sinners because sinners they picked up rounds off the back of just uncanny performances for sword have been able to do some consistency as well as having huge plays from both stododo roman and arky for now, there's going to be a little bit of presence kind of shown around me. That counter volley from Sinners show kind of intent, but they haven't shown how many. And with the second volley just trying to catch out just, it's just fighting and garnering for a bit of map control. As Sinners have completely changed their pace, they still need a man advantage if they're going to commit to a site because of their lack of firepower. So though, no, no, he's, he's almost inviting them, isn't he? Beat me. He's quickly whispering. and <laughs> Try well, me. He was, he was, yeah, exactly. He was blessed with a peak, unfortunately. He blew it. With sinners in mid now, it's Muterist to be challenged. Muterist, will they be the one to blow it in this case? Oh, Roman on the crossfire. It's an unwieldy spray from the AK, but still will get a pair. The Romans continue to conquer. And that empire will stand for a thousand years, potentially. The empire of the Romans on A. Forzian. The Forzian Derby stick. They just swarmed, harassed in mid, harangued in mid. As we see an 11 4 half. Harry, for Saw, this has been a really good start. It's really interesting in that I don't think we've seen Sinners ever win control of mid. They've only ever just been seeded mid from uh, the side of Saw. Like, Sinners have been able to control it a little bit before. We saw uh, someone get up into the top of mid. Able to intercept Roman, but even then, still, that area was retaken. They got dinked at range by an MP9, and Saw definitely have made a big show of being able to win every single battle that occurs for mids, and I wonder if that will become a consistent theme across a bunch of our maps, because I guess you'd say the equivalent of playing mid over on somewhere well, like Nuke, which is in our map pool, would be probably playing outside, and at the moment, Stododo and Roman... The long-range accuracy they're displaying makes me very worried about a potential battle for mid on nuke. They're absolutely That's right, and I mean, it'll be a potential well. battle. It could be a potential battle for Banana on Inferno as well, where the same mm. positions are going to be harangued. With Sort looking to go for an execution, it is going to be just a measly single smoke and flash to be used. However, there are PG-50s in the mix to add a bit of teeth to this. Shock. Oh my goodness! Whoa. A dirty little flake and maybe a touch more right here. Eventually runs to the bottom of the barrel. Zedko hiding in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's some lovely headshots. Can they find the final one? They're just going to wiggle themselves away. And Arky now has to deal with the one versus two on the site. And soon as will win themselves a pistol round. I tell you what, that's a clean, clean round from both Shock and Zedko there. That second shot. Look, look at this here. Mid air, we see that. Look at that. Just straight to the back of the skull of Sudodo. Arky, there's, there's only so much you can do in a 1v3. He is just swarmed and killed. But for Sinners, that's their, that's their show of hope. That's their sign of hope. You take the pistol round, you set yourselves up for what could be a very well recovered half. It's a good start. Buckle up, ladies and gents. We might be here a while. A deagle in hand there for Roman. Certainly some hope for their accuracy, but Neofrag doesn't want to allow any of that hope to take root. Taking out that deagle early. <laughs> what? Just these beasting corpse fling on by merrily. Wee. I mean, whatever works for him, right? Whatever works for him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ballsy. And try to aggress into here. The first player that's moving is the bomb as well, so he gets a lot of info off that. Yeah, frag should be a chance to farm some fairly, fairly decent cash. As so it's a matter of getting the round over and done with, to be honest. Just move on, allow your glocks to be nullified. There is the odd deagle on Muterist, but that's not enough to change the outcome of a round, surely. Definitely not. Definitely not. Especially up against a pair of MP9s and M4s as well. Neofrag just holds down the trigger. That puts just an Arky in the grave. The Deagle stands prepared. Up at the top of mid, but they've lost their last friend here. Amuterus 
All alone will die cold. Eleven to six, Harry. This is recoverable for Saw. And it feels weird to say recoverable for Saw, doesn't it? Because sinners, they have looked <laughs> really quite shaky on that east side. But this is how Saw were able to build their lead. It's a very strong start. You take the pistol and you just use that momentum start to finish for the rest of the half. And for sinners, while this is they're not quite there yet, I guarantee you it will. This 11 6 scoreline is going to look mighty small, mighty quickly if sinners keep this momentum, particularly if Saw lose this round. Neo Frag absolutely blown to smithereens here. 8 HP, but the util damage goes just as harshly the other way and just finds that out the hard way. Blown to bits by the HE. And maybe a little bit of a reimagining of the attack plan here from Saw. Now yeah, it's going to be a. Uh, what they have gone quiet, and what they have, as you mentioned, kind of reevaluated their attack, they haven't, they haven't set their games away from B. And so, Sinners, they are still on high alert here. You know, Beastick, he's playing for info, if anything, with those mollies prime. It's going to be difficult for Saw to try and take these engagements. A delay on that molly just from a couple of weird bounces meant that it's hard to get on through this area and still no one's made their way up ramp too scared of penetrating through this smoke 4c stands with the awp smoked off on both these angles potentially thinking they can wait this one out the bomb should be planted soon and it's roman who's in charge of that not at the default site may well have been a little bit nervous or this might allow them to play better post plant positions edco coming round the back though Saw have found themselves a plant. They found themselves a three versus four, though. They need to start winning Ooh. these duels. One versus two. And one versus one. Roman grabs themselves the EWP. And this might be why they planted for this area here, Kramer. There are no smokes left. Just that one. And now they look for the duel. That's a well-placed body shot. And Zedko. No time. Doesn't have time for the defuse. Ooh. It's, it's just converted. But Harry, I I don't know about that. Saw should not be allowing uh, 1v3 to pretty much be converted. You know, without the bomb, they'd lost that round. They should not be letting that happen. For Sinners, that was a round which they had no business in coming that close to winning. So they shut them down. We see the next investment for Sinners. It's a very same story where both teams have got a lot of riding on this. Both have brought down to zero, Harry. This round almost counts as double because of the lost bonus you're going to see here. Double or nothing round. No one lost just yet. Mutris. They hear the Famous. They look to try and take up the Covering Fire first, but Covering Fire isn't enough to take them down. Near Frag will fall for all of this, and Sinners might start to feel a touch nervous here. For Galil, sure, it's no AK, but remains dangerous, especially in the hands of someone like Mutiris. And they stick moving to pick up the Famous that was dropped by their friend. However, all of this attention over on B is a bit of a ruse, Kremer. The actual shenanigans are moving towards A, and Zedko is keen to just keep their eye on this. They know they're not going to be flanked because control of mid... Right now is in the hands of Shock. Multiple players moving on to here. And Zedko decides not to reveal their presence just yet. They might try and stop themselves apart. They line themselves up towards default. Crossing over the spray was dangerous. But still surviving here are members of Saw. Look at the close range here on Just, who just cool. closes the distance. Kills multiple players. And Zedko, what can they do to try and open this up from Donut? Not the most accurate from your terrorists. Here. It's a bit of a labored spray, Kramer. <laughs> but it's for a round that matters the most. It is a bit of struggle it's city, yes. Struggles. <laughs> for Zedko, though, with like, about HP remaining, he's going to be able to get the hell out of there. Hold on to the AK. For Saw, it's a 
it's fairly messy, you know, just shouldn't be able to swing like that and get two kills, but at the same breath, you know, Muteris absolutely should have just killed both of them when he flanked like that. So, they're going to have a to and fro from both sides. At 13-6, to six, though, Sinners, they need to be very careful. They're running out of chances now. They're running out of opportunities, which they can hand to Saw. They do have money. They, or at least they will have next round. They do have that AK on Zedco. So there is the chance that they kind of play a Red Army style, where if the AKs drop, <laughs> comrade, pick it up. So, yeah, that's a perfectly good AK. <laughs> and for One collection of for the they... squad, comrade. Yeah, exactly. So if Saul can mitigate it and sort of catch that AK off in a quite forward and angle, rounds over with 14-6, and then we see the full buyer sinners. The dodo on the classic boost right here not the double boost that we saw earlier from uh sinners that was uh <laughs> one very tall individual up against nico very aggressive positioning here from zedko they're going to be punished for that challenging roman in the territory of a inadvisable oh beast egg. you boost oh, above the smoke it will give him a, a little a little bit to work with, but he, I don't think they've been able to retrieve that AK of Zedko. The one weapon that they really needed to hold on to is eventually retrieved by Forzy, but it's on the wrong bomb site. That's worrisome. Yeah, it's got a bit of a commute to make its way over to where the action is. In comes the utility, and so the execute should be acted upon right now. These stick crouches within the smoke before popping their head up. They see one. However, they randomly catch a dink through the smoke, I believe. And Muteris oh. has just marauded their way into the back. I've asked me, Arties. <laughs> Forcey still has the AK. And you can't buy these on the CT side, so it's time for a little crouch in the corner and a nice cry. It's like a limited edition bribery weapon, right? <laughs> it's an NFT. Um, yeah, so they're coming for your Pokemon cards, though, when there's Forcey sort of cowards by tree. There are only so many positions he can be in. Saw want this hunt. They are able to get the kill. Sinners, another investment has to come now. And what they've guaranteed as well is we have no sight of the orb to be bought by Sinners, unless it's a glass cannon. Even then, that may even be a struggle. So they've done a perfect, perfect thing here to just get that momentum. Sinners have had their NFT screenshotted absolutely heartbroken remember guys you can make a deposit of 50 euros over on our partner thunderpix betting site if you uh if you deposit and bet 50 euros using the code bitcoin as a new customer you will get 50 euros deposited into your account for you to continue playing with you know what crema as long as you're over 18 and you're having fun while you're gambling go ahead show us what you know exactly. about some cs make some money doing it did you give your predictions today, Harry? Uh, yes. I predicted predict for time? the S guys. I predicted Sinners and Skade. Sinners and Skade. So your prediction isn't going very well. Maybe no. don't listen to Harry for your, for your betting advice. <laughs> but maybe no, don't listen to, to me advice. for betting advice. Yeah. Oh, actually, listen to him. Then pick the other team. <laughs> that now. There you go. That's smart. There is, there's, there's still hope, right? <laughs> Uh, for so. So, a very slow start, actually. Look how passive they're being outside B. They've got no presence in mid or A at all. They're just hoping to punish Sinners. They know Sinners have to go aggressive, because they know Sinners can't afford full belts of utility. And the map control bid here from B-Stick. Oh, he's rewarded. However... They have to use Look one of the limited push. smokes they have to cover themselves. The speed here is huge! Near Frank! They just rotate and they kill everyone who comes their way. Thanks for the weaponry, boys. Sinners! They just exploded, Saw! Well, that ought to do it. That ought to do it, Harry. A great, great round there from the Ofra again. There's, I love that strat by Saw. I absolutely love it. They see that they've aggressed over to mid. They see that they've committed an extra man there, which means they're forwarded in their positioning candles. They punish it by going straight up B main, try to trade off one another and get the sight. I love that strat to an absolute point. However, they just didn't kill Neofrag. Yeah, there was a big problem there. 
trait which uh, they weren't quite able to do and now be stick he's gonna go aggressive again why not it worked before let's try it again so same strat rinse and repeat as they get this b site have a look at back at our map veto actually never mind we'll talk about this uh talk about this b take first an attempt to spam over at default but there's a rock in the way shark is brutally making their way through here near frag avoids being hit by the flash and forcey already wandering how much more can i do a missed shot but zedko's not missing themselves on the cross meteorist is keen to punish and a one versus two now both these players will come from candles they turn away from a flash well they keep both their eyes in place but up against two on the double swing neofrag is able to deliver themselves a killing blow and as i was talking about the map veto i'm really surprised that sinners did not pick overpass but maybe they're a little bit less confident without oscar I mean, Overpass is a map where the whole thing is dictated by your author, so it makes sense why they are having to list away from Overpass for the time being with the loss of Oscar, and while they are adapting to working with Forzy. I mean, you see it in the kill count, you know, Forzy, he's playing a more supportive role. When when Sinners had Oscar, it was an absolute unfiltered aggression with that with the extra experience that came with him. Oh, remember guys? Top right corner? Check out a little mannequin. Doing some exercises. What a great way to start your week. Give up blood pumping. Release, release I mean, some endorphins. Feel it. good chemicals. Yeah, thinking about it is awful. Doing it is awful. But then after doing it, you feel great. <laughs> I don't find doing it awful. Uh, I, I, hate, I hate every second. Then the second it's done, like, oh, Movement sucks. Uh, it actually does. I I wish I could, I wish I could hibernate. Like I uh, actually wish chat, I could we'll, hibernate. We will now be accepting bets on Thunderpick as to whether or not Kramer and I forget the ad. But it's going to be at the start of the next round. <laughs> uh, it's a very unlike. Uh, that's like twelve to one that we forget. <laughs> like, there, there is some. Uh, the odds aren't with us for that one, Harry. <laughs> yes. So maybe we've been to a. It's it's a, it's a little bit of a little bit of an eco, but they do have a lot of utility to work with here. And this time, it's candles to their objective. Oh, Neo Frag has come alive! What a bit of spraying right there! And saw they are unhappy with this. They've been denied match point. I'm willing to just jump the gun on that one. Denied match point on this one. Sinners are going to hit nine. Two versus five. They have, what, a P250 and a Deagle between them. And a smoke, of course. But oh, what was Ooh. that? What was that? Roman, that was a war crime. You're going to jail. Forcey's going to put you there. Warden Forcey. Yeah. Forcey's a bit scarier than a court martial. <laughs> oh, just... Making their way over towards the bomb, seeing if maybe they could bait out a shot from this Orpa. And then maybe refrag himself. <gasps> <laughs> oh, we talked about baiting the Orpa. No need for baits, boys. He's just that good. Bombs in hand. This is, uh, <laughs> you know what? This isn't amazing for Saw, but this is a little bit embarrassing for Sinners right now. <laughs> If he gets another they've, kill, they, they've then got a he's... cornered beast in just, and they've got a cornered oh beast. God. But he's this what? dangerous when you try and cage him. Oh, they faked leaving as well, and now they could try and isolate themselves and the candles. It's okay, Zed Coke. They only needed a single body shot. It, someone was going to hit it eventually, but wow, that, that's a pretty feel-good round. For those of you Sinners who are bet feeling like on me. Harry. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who bet on Harry not making that rouse. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Thunderpick. You guys are great. <laughs> oh, we should be used to it, but we're not. Sinners. They are running sort of mock right now. And for just a moment, yes, the bomb plant's going to help. They do have a bit of a loss bonus to sort of so soften the blow here. But for Roman, he needs to release a little bit of damage. Just a little bit, Harry. 
There we go. A little bit of damage done. Anything more than this is the question. They at least can try now. Let themselves some 1v1s over here in the donut. Oh, even through the smoke, the fire, the flames, Roman finds himself a shocking revelation. Oh, they cross for free. Okay. Cool. They'll just get, get out. out with an AK. dollars <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> they just didn't shoot. Like, okay, off with you. Tell the others you're a warning. <laughs> yep. And of course, if there's one person left, then they're able to preach about your sins with... In this case, the Sinners are going to be able to make it 10. My issue is, though, so they still have money. At least for AKs and armor. And if they want to drop down to Galil's, there'll be a lot of utility to work with as well. This round count is getting close. If we see Sinners make it, uh, take this map, it's a 2 0 series. If we see Saw take this map, I reckon it's a 2 0 series. I don't think this is going to nick. interesting I, I, you know what Kramer over time I've actually really come to like casting nuke really my least favorite at the beginning but it was because we were using a non-custom map so we had to deal with valves <laughs> just a mess <laughs> yeah I can understand why you would hate casting nuke on that but I, I've, I've come it's to quite, quite like nuke though. yeah the new, new could be quite an interesting map, particularly for both of these teams, uh, because of how aggressive they are. As demonstrated, be stick. Ooh, demonstratum. Dado there with the Galil. Able to take out B-Stick, who was trying their best to once again emulate the success of the run and gun they previously felt. A little bit of map control up towards A has been gained. It's Roman. Who's responsible for that, but now they are going to be stared down potentially by the AWP. You can see right now there's a lot of nervousness on Zedko. They are very nervous. We run here. Zedko is forced to back away, but they're backing straight into the advancing army. What could Shock do from the back of Donut? Oh, this is a tasty pastry right here. Narky does their best. They find the shot that they need to. A leg would have done Ooh. it near Frag. Does their best to guard the bomb and guard it, they oh, shall. Oh, no. Now it's down to a one versus one. The HE hits directly. Mutirish just puts themselves on top of it. And then puts them on top of the kill feed. Near frag. Held on for the best they could. That was a big, big blunder on Source part there. The fact that Mutiris went into that 1v1 without waiting for his teammate is almost suicidal. You know, you're handing one of the best aimers on the on the server to 1v1s, which they'll be more than confident to take any day of the week. Yes, it goes 15-10, but Saw, so they can't take their eye off the ball because as demonstrated there, the second they do, it is instantly punished. Another timeout is called. I like the fact we are seeing timeouts get used, but for Sinners, it could be too little too late. Even if they win this round, if they do so with heavy casualties, their buy is just going to get worse and worse. For Saw, there's... Yeah, they haven't ever been on a good buy, let's be honest. So really, it's just a rinse and repeat. Paycheck to paycheck, baby. An orb is just about afforded, I believe. That was uh, probably purchased by Neofrag and dropped over to 4C. A little bit of a swap between the pair. But it isn't going to be adended with any head armor. It's only going to be the vest of 4C. Turns out it's going to be a bit of a tech pause. This will be an extended one. So, as you can see, the little guy up the icon you want to get your exercises done to start your week i can't think of a worse way to start your week personally but <laughs> if you want to then that, that's something something to go ahead and do because this this could be a bit of a, a bit of an extended pause <laughs> yeah i'm not not entirely sure what's happening to be fair uh like we, we had ourselves a little bit of a tech pause here on the castle desk as well uh our boy Kramer, of course living in the the mean suburbs of where are you bournemouth yeah, yeah, bournemouth, there, yeah. there's a Today, great. So, some re some real failing infrastructure over there, and <laughs> I I'm <laughs> willing, I'm willing to bet there is somewhere in the mains there's a potato that's just uh, someone's just gone cut out of second <laughs> there's a potato, wire potato battery that's running all of yeah Bournemouth. exactly yeah pretty much it's not just Bournemouth it's like my little road like my little enclave just 
always loses power. It's it's really <laughs> I could I couldn't have picked a worse profession considering my location. But <laughs> nonetheless, it's an accommodation for you, folks. Yeah, man, it's not fun. It's really not fun. Sinners, they are in a very tough position at the moment. Yes, they have got a little bit of a buy on them. Yes, they have a, a slight bit of momentum. Neofrag is still hitting his shots. It's just not enough right now because despite all of this, they're 15 10 down. They are on their opponent's map pick, but for Saw, they are looking really, really dominant, particularly on their CT side, something which they're going to be able to start on come Inferno. Worth one noting, though, that Stododo's had a significant slowdown on their T half mm. compared to how they were playing the CT. Mm. And that might be something that becomes exploitable going into Inferno. If you can secure the CT side of Inferno first, you might be able to string two poor yeah. halves for Stododo together. And that might work well to try and mess with the mental rhythm and maybe make them overextend a little bit on the CT side, trying to get that mojo back. No, you're absolutely right. Um, I personally think there is going to be a chance for Sinners to close this out if they can take it to overtime. I think if they hit overtime, they've won. But they need five rounds in a row to do so. And that's doing that five rounds in a row without any money, without any loss bonus. And particularly on this round, they need to do it with two MP9s. Which, let's be honest, is going to be a bit of a tall order. You have to get up in the face of your enemy. And luckily, Shock, he's going to attempt just that through mid. Shock, very confident. Oh, my, my, my. Has to dash away, but Zedko elsewhere, they beat Roman. Interesting, as Roman has won quite a few of those A-duels, but... This time, it's a different story. He's risking mid. He sort of knows the eye. He has the general idea of the Sinner's rotation, but he can't risk fighting it because if Saul go two players down, then they're in a lot of trouble. But Sinners have taken a big gamble here. Reclearing mid, B site is completely open, just as Saw make their parade into the site. This is a big problem for Sinners now. Neofrag is here at least, and if you want Ooh. someone to defend the site, it's Neofrag who's going to be the one to deliver. And they continue to be that way. Stadoda finally gets themselves an all pick here. But they don't last for long, and Mutiris now settles in behind the box. Have a little crouch. Have a little cry. Mourn the loss of your friends, and then mourn the loss of yourself as Edco gets their creeping done. So let's make it 11, and for Saw, honestly, that's a bit of a bad round, all things considered. They really suffered yeah, there. Fumble. Trying to, you know, they should not be losing. Let that full eco. I don't think it was an eco, but still. <laughs> no, it, 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 it now is a full eco. They say that it now is a full eco. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Right, that makes sense. It, it's predictive. That's cool. Then. That's cool. Better at our job than we are. But sinners, <laughs> they're left with. <laughs> yeah, winning angels like that with MP9s at range as well. That's something that should never be happening. Well, oh. if it can work with MP9s, nice, Harry, it can work with m force. Shock continues to dominate oh, mid look at right that here. Huge amounts. And now near frag, they exited candles, but they're just going to be extinguishing the lives of multiple Iberians. An attempt to move on forward here, potentially near frag swings on out. Stadoda only has a pistol to play with, but it's Roman with a Deeg right here. We've seen the Orps lose to the Deegs before. Different story this time, though. Zedko isn't going to be made a fool of, and Sinners will hit 12. Do you think this is Sinners making the comeback, or do you think this is a bit of a death rattle? Uh, I think right now, whatever happens for Sinners is a good thing. Like, all of these mm -hmm. rounds, I just want to see them capture a little bit of momentum, find some mojo, some je ne sais quoi, to bring forward onto Inferno. They might be able to secure themselves an overtime here, in which case I'll reevaluate. Oh, that run needs to start. Oh, Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. This isn't this isn't CS. This is geometry dash. <laughs> that was some incredible parkour there. Unfortunately, it doesn't <laughs> quite work out for the members of sort of sinners even. They go a man down. And unfortunately for them. They have also lost a fair bit of control in mid. Look how they've stacked every single member to fight for mid now. Muterus, a well-timed flash, could allow him to win the game for Sawher. 
Only a molly and ham for themselves. That's one. Muteris. Their location has been revealed. They try to cut off Donut. However, the second player here. It's oh. through the box. Muteris. The mid warrior Zedko with an AWP up against four. A quartet of AKs. And I'm afraid the strings are going to be ringing out a mournful tune today. A swing is made. The shots are hit. And Saw will claim themselves their map pick of Ancient. That's a really, really strong map from both sides there. So I'm really liking how they're playing individually. They have very loose defaults, which means that when it does come down to kind of mid-round engagements, they have a lot of freedom to go for 1v1s to just hide in positions and hope to outflank Sinners, whereas Sinners is a complete opposite side of the spectrum. They don't really play for defaults. They usually play with set strategies. And they work from there. The issue is, if a few players die, it can mean the strategy ends up collapsing. If Sinners lose a few players in the early round, they have this mid-round where they just stagnate with three players kind of unsure where to push. This happens on their CT side as well. And it was only in the latter stages of that game they sort of committed to it and went, kind of, sod it, we'll end up pushing somewhere. We ended up seeing some big exoduses from the B site just to commit to retaking mid. The same thing happens in that final round where all three members just went through mid to try and kill Buterus. In a post Oscar world. Look in my eyes, told me why 